So let's talk a little bit more about that whole push forward combat that you're describing. And that kind of shows it in action. You're never stopping. It, you might be backing up a little bit. You might be moving to the left or right. But you're always kind of pushing combat forward, right? It, yeah. Is yeah. that... Describe to us how that works it and really what that is. means. Yeah, Hugo kind of coined a term around the office that we use is, uh, you know, you're kind of like uh, Bruce Lee on a skate, skateboard with a shotgun, uh, you know, in oh, a skate awesome. park. And, and you kind of get that sense of that space there. It, it lends itself to always moving forward, always kind of traversing the space. We have a double jump mechanic that, uh, that allows you to kind of go, go further or go higher um, and, and, and grab ledges and, uh, you know, Change the change the verticality of the space a lot more than kind of a classic Doom experience, um, but uh, but it is always about kind of moving forward and using the space uh, to your advantage, moving your speed to your advantage. But the enemies can always flank and, and find a new a new angle on you. So you know, as as has been said, you know, you stop and you die pretty much in, in the course of this game. You're never not multitasking. There's always like four or five guys, and there's a heavy here and. You know, an imp running around, and they're throwing, and they have these uh, super shot fireballs, and you could hear it wind up just like in the classic yeah. Doom, and it's sort of like lock on missiles if you're in like an F-22, and you hear go beep beep, you know that like you better move right fast. So, so there are always cues everywhere. There are visual cues in the corner of your eyes. There's the audio, audio cues. Thing. There's yeah. all kinds of ways of knowing that things are happening you, at all times. Literally, and you're always in danger. In the middle of an arena, I'll just do figure eights even when I'm just paused because. I'm, they're always trying to nail you with something, huh. and when you it's, play it on hard, one hit, you're dead. You can get into really good combat rhythm, and that's kind of key right. to the game, is just this constant motion and rhythm, and, and with the drops that are coming out, your health is really low, and, and you know, you, in, in, the middle, in the middle of big combat, you don't, you don't look for health packs, you know, you look for fodder, because if you don't find something to kill, you're going to die. Yeah. Right. And, oh. One of the parts I really love about our game is that's that ever-changing chessboard. Like, the battlefield is always changing. The AI is always making a move. You need to counter. The minute you counter, another AI is coming in. Yeah. And so you've got this game in your head that you're playing yes. just to stay alive and get through it and take guys out. Combat is just, it's so core to what Doom is to, to everybody in the world, and, and it's really strong in our game. It's, re it's really fun working. You can't really... You can't really strategize when you enter into an arena space. It's more like moment-to-moment, split-second strategizing because it's changing right. constantly. Right. It's very every, improvisational. Every, yeah, everybody has a plan until they get hit in the face. Pretty much. <laughs> I mean, I love that. Uh, I'm hearing scramble. improvisational. I hear rhythm. Yeah. I, I hear constant movement. So it really is a game of skill, right? Yes. Absolutely. I mean, it's not just sitting there blasting everything as it comes at you, but no. you're constantly on your toes. You're constantly being challenged. That's really one of the core pillars of of Doom, right? Yeah. yeah. If, and when it's on hard, if you just straight line a guy and just like, I'm going to take him out, and I'm going to take him out, you're going to get wrecked. Like, you kind of have to do, like he says on a skateboard, like, that's why we call it skate, skate parks, because you have to kind of do drive-bys. Like, I'll put a couple in you and a few more in you, and I'll come back. And Because if you stop and try to take out a guy at once, you just... You're going to get wrecked. wrecked. It's, it's not a tactical shooter. It's not a cover-based shooter. It is. It will test your skill. Nightmare mode brings a, a, a completely different level to all of this. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Right. Yeah. So. Right. So if, so if you want to test yourself, you'll really test yourself. Oh, yeah. Nightmare will beat your ass down. <laughs>